Weeks passed, but she couldn't remain in seclusion forever. You know, after the first of the year, I had a big decision to make. Was I going to go to the inauguration? Well, defeated uh, candidates don't necessarily show up. No. But you're a former first lady. But I'm a former first lady, and former presidents and first ladies show up. It's part of the demonstration of the continuity of our government. And so there I was on the platform, you know, feeling like an out-of-body experience. And then his speech, which was a cry from the white nationalist gut. This American carnage stops. What an opportunity to say, okay, I'm proud of my supporters, but I'm the president of all Americans. That's not what we heard at all. Clinton had been so sure she'd be the one giving that inaugural speech. You specifically bought this house for a reason. I did. And this was to be? Well, I, I know a lot about what it takes to move a president, and I thought I was going to win. The Clintons had acquired the house next door to accommodate White House staff and security during a second Clinton administration. And doesn't it kind of haunt you? That no, I'm, I'm very happy we did it. At a dining room table in that house, she wrote about what happened. I couldn't get the job done, and I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. 